Welcome back to Gator Snipper playthrough of Genshin Impact, where we are continuing doing the fucking side quests that lead to the main quest of Inazuma, which is fucking a big old pain in the ass to me. But in the meanwhile, um, there's been a new update, and now Bedo's Electra swing looks like this. Wait, what? What? God damn it, did I get goofed? Did I get goofed by videos on the internet? Fucking lies of the internet? The fuck? <laughs> I thought they changed the way her fucking electro swing looked. Okay, never mind. I guess I'm an idiot that just believes the first thing I see on YouTube. Literally, like, there's a video that's like, Whoa, they changed the way electro attacks look. And they did Bedos, and, like, her fucking slash looked like it was cutting into space. And I was like, oh, that's cool. Unless it's, like, a thing where specifically she has to counter for it, but I, I think I just got goofed. I, I think I'm an idiot. Oh, well. In the meanwhile, we've also got new summons to do. We got Child here right now, and uh, I could summon for him. Or... I could save for Arataki Ito, who's coming out after Hu Tao, who's the next banner. Uh, so, honestly, I think I want to save my points up for Arataki. Because, like, it's not like I've been pulling five stars anyways. Well, except, of course, for Aloy, who I just got. <laughs> oh, boy. I'm so glad to have gotten Aloy. Honestly, she's not bad. Everyone's fucking pissy because, I guess, I don't know, they just don't like her. That's the main thing. That's the main thing with it. Like... She doesn't seem like she's bad. I Like I said before, I don't think there's really bad characters in this game. Like, they have cool abilities, and you can just build them to be broken. So, I think Aloy's probably usable. So, yeah, let's just leave it at that. Aloy's fine. Uh, but now we can get back to the main quest, which has been fucking in the worst place ever. Just blocking my fucking daily commissions for fucking Liyue. I've, like, not been doing any of my daily commissions ever. I don't even fucking remember what this quest is called. Holy shit. Alright, hey, just fucking get me into a cutscene. There you go. <sighs> What's up, Ganyu, my yes. fucking princess? Yes. The audacity what? to go after anything. Oh, okay. That just that yes, yes really threw me off. Dragons. Uh -huh. gods. No oh yeah. Artifact that relates can escape their oh hell yeah. Nations. Good good for them. They're willing Still, to fucking make money off of everything. Different. Oh. They think they are going after the abyss orders. What well, do you care? They're probably gonna die in the process. Oh, this is about treasure traveler, hoarders, by the way. So they are actually the dumbest people in all of the fucking Ganyu? Genshin Impact what are you world. Doing here with Lon? Do you have a commission you need to post? Uh, no, I'm here as HR. Cool. I'm getting complaints. Uh, we how hello you do you do? Yeah, those little yes. bastards. We were just saying how even the audacious treasure hoarder mm. should be better than to mess with the abyss. Honestly, I just. Just I just too. don't know enough about the abyss but to actually abyss understand like how like the gravity of that situation. It's like yeah, what the fuck's up with what's up with the abyss? Like I know they're bad, but I guess they they fucking took control of Duval, and that's the one thing I know. Everything else has been Fatui. Oh, <laughs> big sis of the south. I remember Raptor of the North. We did a side quest for him. Yeah. Uh. Does she boss Correct. people around? Okay. Have we? I don't think we've ever met her. Honestly, they need a treasure hoarder with a vision that can be a playable character. That's what I was kind of thinking of Arataki Ito, because he's like a bandit leader. Uh-huh. Oh. Hmm. I don't know. Honestly, maybe they will make her into a fucking five-star hero. Or a four-star. Honestly, like, I think this game does a pretty good job at, like, um, kind of like making four stars still be impressed like kucha sar is a four star but she's a general like that's usually the kind of thing where i bet people be like a general should be a five star but then it's like no the shogun's a five star the general is a four star i don't know then for some four stars and five stars are like oh that's just really gone you she's a fucking secretary she's a five star but she's also half um fucking adept eye but then so is yanfei she's a lawyer who's half adept eye i don't know it's weird I'm confused. Uh huh. Oh, don't worry. He's about to die very quickly. He is an extraordinary. Is he though? The Grand Thief is highly respected in the treasure orders. Uh huh. Same way that we adventurers look up to great adventurers. I guess. Just like the famous adventure Alice. Is that is that what's her face's mom? Yeah, that is that is Klee's mom. Because she wrote the trailer. Yeah. Wow. So the treasure hoarders is just like the opposite of the adventurers guild. Okay. Mondstadt. Big hmm. Sis and Raptor had to put in a lot of work to convince a thief of his oh, status yeah. to come and personally oversee this operation. I 
Yeah, okay, the yeah, fair. Changes in Leo recently. Hmm. The Ministry of Civil Affairs and the I, Honestly, just let them hands. fucking do this shit. They don't the, they, to investigate rumors I don't know, this seems kind of like the thing of, like, the Abyss will fucking slap them on the hand. Like, we don't have to worry Not about doing anything. The Abyss makes me um. feel like there is some unknown danger lurking beneath the surface. <laughs> they actually steal the item and the Abyss comes to fucking Leeway Harbor and it's just like, uh, yeah, people that were affiliated to your nation stole some of our valuable artifacts so and we want reparations. That'd be fucking crazy. I want to see the Abyss come out with like a fucking, uh, a fucking, like, <laughs> civil lawsuit. I don't know. Does that count as a civil lawsuit? I don't know. What kind of lawsuit was it when fucking Hobby Lobby was taking ancient artifacts from Egypt or whatever? No, wait, they had the Epics of Gilgamesh. That's what it was. And it was either Hobby Lobby or Hobby... Ca no, it was Hobby Lobby, because they're the ones that um, are super Christian, I think. Yeah, yeah. I have to literally piece these things together by remembering um, what it was like when I went to... Uh, the Hobby Lobby near the, st the TJ Maxx that I used to work at in my hometown. Huh? Wait, Pymon? What are you talking about now, Paimon? What? Do we... Oh, that's about the treasure tray. Oh! Oh, yeah, that. That was another fucking side quest I had. Okay, jeez. No, no, hold on. I need to get my actual fucking quests uh, sorted out. Oh, my God. Ah, uh, this makes me fucking sick. I need to just do these quests. It's just, every time I'm in a place where I'm like, oh yeah, I'll do some side quests, I make the mistake of looking to see if they give rewards I want, which is always just going to be, uh, like, fucking primo gems. And then I'm like, oh, these just give me things I don't care about, and then I never do them. It's because the quest takes so fucking long! It's like, holy shit. That is one, especially the story quests that are like following after the main characters. It's like, god damn, they just make them take forever, and I get it. It's like you want to give your the like the actual characters screen time, but holy shit, they always take such a long time in such a boring way. It's so disappointing. It's like, god damn, just if you want to make me spend time on like a character story, at least make it like something really fun and entertaining. It never feels that way when I'm doing it. I'm always just like, oh my god, I'm dying. I'm dying in the process of doing this. Also, where is this stupid fucking, this stupid little Oculus? Is it up in the tree? Hell yeah, it is. Okay, give me this thing. I'm just collecting these things because if I don't collect them now, I will never collect them. That's my fucking... That's basically just how I play this account. Meanwhile, on my account, I've... Oh, man. It's actually been super chill on my main account. I've just been, like, going around and, like, actually doing side things I've never done before. It's like... Usually that'd be a boring as sin kind of thing, but it's just been really chill, like going out uh, into different zones and like checking shit out. And it's like, oh, this is nice. This is chill. I like it. Like I've I'd literally just been walking around the islands in Inazuma, like fucking collecting every treasure chest I see because uh, you can turn that shit in for nice rewards. Honestly, the addition of the Sakura tree was such a good fucking move. Like, God, it it makes going through the game actually worth it. Like, just going through the open world. The, not to say, like, the open world is still cool. Like, it's just usually I don't... I'm the type of person that when, like, I have nothing to do and I have a video game... I still am like, oh, I don't want to do this, it's boring, and then I just suffer because I don't know what else to do. I'm just, like, bored and sitting around. But, uh, yeah, no, fucking, um, uh, like, now that there's actual, I get, re I guess, prizes, I get rewards for, um, doing exploring stuff, I'm like, oh, yeah, fuck, I'll do this all the time. It's nice. Oh, yeah, and also I leveled up my dudes. I gave D. Luke a new weapon because he's been needing it. Uh, which sucks because I was, I, I was really harping on about how much I like the three-star weapons, but they just don't scale enough. Maybe one day they'll do, like, um... Yes. Oh. Oh, yeah, the bubble walls. Maybe one day there will be a, um... Some kind of, like, weapon ascension upgrade, like, where you raise the weapon cap. I'd be excited for that. Uh-huh. Paimon, stop talking. Ah! What the fuck? This is cheating. I wasn't even supposed to fucking be there. Okay, hold on. Oh, you know what? I bet there's treasure hiding in one of these. It's my fucking recently acquired treasure hunter senses. Uh huh. Soon I will too. One day be a treasure hoarder. Jesus, I nearly threw up in my mouth. I had to stop there for a bit. That sentence had to be aborted. I was like, oh god, this might come out the wrong way. And not just in, like, I say something problematic, I might actually just fucking barf. It was a real good time. Okay, here we go. Whee! Uh, 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 am I supposed to go this way? Uh, wait a minute. Hold on just a second. Where am I going? 
was oh maybe there's an actual pathway in one of these because honestly why else would i be coming over here is there something really high no hmm i was supposed to go this way right it's like the bubbles are ah bubbles honestly do they even damage me i don't know huh there is no way i would have just gone in here for nothing what the hell um hmm Honestly, did I just miss seeing? Well, yeah, hold on. I bet I just missed seeing, like, an actual pathway down there. It's been a while since I did this quest. I honestly don't remember what it is I'm doing. This was actually, like, when I first did this quest, I was like, oh, cool, they're making uh, dungeons have actual, like, traps and stuff in them again. Honestly, I, uh, I don't know. I think I just kind of, like... Uh, it had been such a long time since I did a proper domain that had things like traps and stuff in them. Um, I think I just kind of forgot that they're pretty alright about putting that kind of stuff in there. I think- oh, there is grounded. I thought this was just into the abyss. God damn, I'm an idiot. Um, but yeah, there's, uh, there's, like, I th there's plenty of domains that do have stuff going- the hell, the event that's going on right now is nothing but a domain with a whole bunch of traps in them. Um, I still wish, that, I don't know, the current event is more about fighting the enemies and traversing traps. Like, the traps they have are pretty, like, eh, like, easy enough to avoid. Not even problematic to get hit by them. But, honestly, I just want them to make a domain that's, like, a big old fucking puzzle trap escape room kind of thing. Maybe I'll put that in my next survey. <laughs> oh, yeah, we get to see the sacrilegious fucking desecrated shrine here. And there's the most violent thing this game has ever shown. Just, like, a really dead guy. <laughs> Uh, Paimon's like, he's just sleeping on the job. Like he sure does. Could it be the Grand Thief? Maybe. Honestly, I bet it's not. I bet the Grand Thief sent in a proxy. And he's going to be a five-star character Why we can is unlock. He in that position? Is he oh, yeah. To he's praying with sideways hands. There. Ooh. Is it a... Yeah, it is a Barbados statue. Aw. Uh -huh. Yay! A statue of the seven. That's what you sound like, Paimon. Please stop making fun of me, the traveler. The, the statue's mm -hmm. hands. Paimon remembers they're yeah. normally holding an orb, right? I guess this is like kind of one of the creepier quest lines, but only in terms of like just seeing the good things in this world be tr like turned evil. But other than that, it's not like we're gonna fucking go around showing like flayed bodies or anything. But like the general vibe is like, ooh, this is weird. It is good like foreshadowing for what the abyss is gonna be all about. Oh, he is most definitely dead. One hundred percent. Honestly, with all this going on, I can't wait to figure out like how um. How Aether, like, why he became such a bad boy, and why he's, like, doing all this stuff with the Abyss. Honestly, my guess is that the Abyss is gonna be, like, we're not actually so bad. Mm hmm. There's no reaction, or any sign of breathing. Paimon just waves her hands, like, oh no. He's dead. That's the first time someone's ever died in this game. Oh no. So no, it's not. Paimon just fucking, like, really grotesquely barfs. Like, she gets on her hands and he's like, <laughs> Oh my god, she's like dry heaving. <laughs> the traveler's just like, Get a hold of yourself! Paimon just slaps her across the face. <laughs> How did he die? Let's get out of here. Okay, fine, no. don't answer my question, Miss Forensic Scientist. I wish that was her, like, no. skills. Now this turns into a crazy dungeon escape. The pan, the pan, <laughs> the panda, the panda, the lunatic, and the something. Oh, I took damage already. Oh shit. Okay. Yeah, this is the part where we gotta fucking go. It's this is uh, actually how threatening is it? How's how, oh yeah, it's threatening. <laughs> okay. They need more stages like this where it's like a fucking um, uh, mad getaway escape. <laughs> oh no 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 no! <laughs> oh, that was close. Holy shit. <laughs> oh my god. Good thing I was able to jump from being in that bubble, otherwise I would be fucked. Oh yeah, I'm like taking like constant damage. Holy shit. Oh, there he is. The boy. Hold on, let us eat some food so that we can be prepared to meet this boy. Okay. Alright, I am ready to meet you, Mr. Abyss Herald. So they do show up in this quest line. Okay, I was really trying to remember how they fucking showed up. Oh. Oh. He's spooky. This is a spooky quest line. Oh, also, I found out because I only recently actually did Spiral Abyss. That's that's where they throw all the Abyss Heralds. Like, they're not 
in like any important story thing yet besides this they're just they're just in the spiral you abyss uh oh jeez all i saw was a fucking upside down this. statue i don't even know what it means pay the price. oh jeez oh he's got like a little fucking pilgrim hat on and he's got like a perfectly round head i bet oh yeah sure you will yeah we heard about those like uh one episode ago the monster we were tracking with dane Dainsley. Yeah, Dainsley. Ah, oh, your voice is so oh, cool. You were just Maybe the effect on the voice is cool. I don't know. Stumbled in here by Actually, mistake. no, it's not even an effect, but it's just like the so way... Okay, yeah, yeah, yeah. You are with Dainsley. Yeah, like wait. Constantly. Did you just pronounce it a different way the second time? You said Dainsley, and then you said Dainsley. Luff, I don't know. Maybe I'm just imagining things. He's like, quit fucking holding up the conversation. To die. Yeah. His resistance against uh, the abyss has gone nowhere. I like these uh, Hydro Abyss heralds. They're really cool. They're all about like crazy fucking sword the shit. The, the Lightning Abyss heralds are cool too, but they're like very preachy. <laughs> they are legit preachers. They just float in the air and say, "Revelations thirteen twenty seven. Take this," and it's just shit like that the entire time. Uh, co fucking me, cocky. I would never fucking wipe the floor with him. <laughs> That's what I'm gonna do. Hell yeah. We're fucking, we are, we are, I was gonna say wiping ass and I was realizing that's like not a really good word to say. It's not a good phrase rather. It's like, that just gives the perfectly wrong mood, I guess. I don't know. God, we're beating his ass out. He's not even having an opportunity to do shit. We just keep stunning his ass. Honestly, it's like, um, my current, like, team roster that I use on my main account, uh, one of the best combos I've ever discovered, I, maybe I've talked about it before, it's using, um, Yoimiya with, uh, fucking Ball, because it's fucking great. If you do Ball's ability where she, like, just has Electro stacked for everybody, where they deal some, like, extra Electro damage, and then you do Yoimiya, you can just juggle enemies up in the air, it's great. Oh, <laughs> this is an awkward place to be standing. Uh-huh. Yeah, my bro kicked your ass once upon a time, I bet. <laughs> mm -hmm. uh -huh. so, it's you so that means you're not going to beat me up anymore, right? Yeah. In that case, oh. I shall stay so that means I can spy on more of your secrets, right? He's like, right, shit, no! Do not go any further into this dank dungeon. There are many secrets to be held. And I was like, and, well, you already said that you are going to leave and do other shits, so I guess I'm just gonna explode. No, damn it! <laughs> ah, curses, let me step back into the void. Alright. I, I wouldn't call it a tough battle. Yeah, I'm fine. I'm ready to fucking throw down again. Uh-huh. Um... Yeah, you're right, actually. All we fought against were stupid little fucking mages. And that's literally it. The only things that Abyss Relay we've ever fought are the mages. Because I don't think Hillichurls count. Hillichurls are just like... Hillichurls are literally just trying to mind their own business. Honestly, like... It's... In terms of, like, an anthropological, like, setup... Uh, the fact that there's, like, humans and they're semi-coexisting with Hillichurls... Like, they haven't just fucking murdered all the Hillichurls out of, like, racism and fear... It's kind of nice to see that, but yeah, the Hillichurls are like, they got like their own little society going on, um, they've learned how to har like harness elements via slime, at least that's my assum assumption, because like, they make the wooden shields, they make their crossbows and all that stuff out of like slimes from what I can tell. It's really, I actually do appreciate it. Like that's good uh, world building there. Also, hey Dainsley, sorry, I was really <laughs> interested in the anthropolo anthropology of uh, Hillichurls. Judging by your expression. Mm -hmm. It seems you just oh yeah, honestly, I would assume that you would know exactly what it is if you were here, because you're be also you looking for, yeah, an abyss herald. Yeah, huh? it's pretty cool. How did you know that? Why do you think I'm here, stupid floating I child? The abyss herald's trail. Mm -hmm. I didn't expect yeah, to find I, but the fu yeah. well. there's something even stranger than the abyss herald. Yeah, dead boy and upside down statue. Mm. statue of the seven. They really... That's like the same thing with, like, the no, upside-down crucifix. Okay. <laughs> nope, never heard of it. No, it's like he... He's like... He just is like an inverted statue of the seven. Abyssal power in his hands. Nope, never heard of it. Oh, shit. Okay. No, oh, my bad. And it's like, oh. Okay, Dane. All right. Figured you'd be the one person Tell to know. The rest of what happened uh huh. There. So you escaped yeah. the ruined depths filled we with abyssal power. We already told... If we cut to black again... Mm -hmm. 
the exit. Yeah. I wouldn't say suddenly. I think he was waiting for us. He's like, hey, bro. Mm hmm. Dude, honestly, that thing teleported. Yes. It's probably long this is gone. A rare opportunity indeed. Yes, sir. Let's go. Yeah. Rare Hell yeah. Can't wait to do more stupid sign for us. <laughs> I just want to go to Inazuma and meet Dommy Mommy Ball. Oh, well. On that note, I'm going to end this episode right here. So, yeah, this has been a Gator Sniper playthrough. See you guys in the next one. Later, everybody.